Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Harakak Wadash. That's all praise to the Most High. Yahweh, who the world ignorantly calls God, in the name of his son, Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, in the name of the Holy Spirit. I would like to give a double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who taught me this truth. And I would like to say a sincere shalom, wabba rakatham to the hopeful elect. The men that are prophesying and laboring in this truth and in this doctrine, risking their lives and their freedom throughout the four winds of the world, and the few sisters that follow the men of the Lord, to you I say shalom. Okay, um, the title of this lesson is, We Will Never Fall Again. All right, and then, you know, with everything going on with this George Floyd situation, all right, with COVID-19, that's major prophecy that's coming to pass. But in the midst of all this, you see our people, our, our right, you Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans just wilding out, acting like some wild animals out there, looting, um, out there asking for justice, uh, um, you know, trusting in oppression. All right, our people are, 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 man, our people have fallen to the lowest of the low. All right, you got all the nations, the world looking at Israel, the nation of Israel right now, like, look at these niggas. All right, our people, we fail. All right, we fail from the heavenly, from the good graces of the heavenly father. All right, we fail, man, so low right now. Our, our women are all out of order. All right, our men are effeminate. Okay, uh, and a lot of these niggas out here is just acting out of impulse because a lot of them were raised by their mothers who was uh, emotional and impulsive, all right? That's, the, that's how low our nation has failed, all right? But you'll never see our nation like this again, okay? This is the worst of the worst, all right? Our, our people are out there just bugged out, looting and, and you know, stealing police cars and just, just completely out of order. Of course, they're going to say, you know, you know, this is for justice for George Floyd. These you you jakes out there, you want justice in a in a corrupt system, in a in a system that never has uh, um, been been for you. All right, like the scripture says, this is not our this is not our rest. All right, our people want to make um, Babylon make a, a slave. You want to have a, a have peace of mind in slavery. All right, we're still in we're still over here in bondage. To these damn devils. This is Micah 2 and 10. Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest, because it is polluted. It shall destroy you, even with a sore destruction. And you see through the, the social media um, uh, um, videos people have been putting up through the news, all right, which is, you know, uh, um, you know, broadcast across the world. Whose face is, who's the face of this, this, uh, this riot and looting? Jake, Israelites, all right? This is, not, this is clearly not our rest. Our people are clearly destroyed, okay? But like I said, we fell away. We fell away from the good graces of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, all right? Uh, and we fell away, first and foremost, we fell away from the law, all right? That's what separates us from these heathens, all right? We out there, our people are out there acting like heathens, all right? You could expect something, in this, something like this from a low-level Edomites, or right? even though there's a lot of Edomites out there that are looting, and you know, but they're not putting them, they're not putting them in their news coverage. All right, a lot of Edomites out there vandalizing. All right, they're not in the news coverage. But our people are acting like heathens right now. All right, I can expect this from some damn filthy ass Hamites to run around and act like uh, just wild animals or some uh, low level Edomites. All right, just act like the pure cave beast that they are. But not our people. Our people are supposed to be separate. Let me grab this scripture. This is Second Thessalonians two and three. Let no man deceive you by any means. For that day shall come, except there come a falling away first. All right, so our people had to fall away from the, uh, our, our power. Our people had to fall to a low state. Okay, even though we're the we're the strongest, the greatest people, the great nation in the world. All right, that the Most High created. Okay, we had to fall away. We fell away from our power. Yahweh, Yahweh, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Okay. And that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition, all right? We had to fall away for, first, and then the man of sin, Esau, Edom, is going to be revealed, okay? And, hey, look at our people right now. Look how low we've fallen. Let me um, grab this. Because we're, we're it, we, you know, we're, we're a great nation. We're not supposed to be um, acting like these damn heathens out here begging. You begging Esau, your oppressor, the devil, the deceiver, 
the adversary to righteousness for justice, for, for a handout. This is Deuteronomy 7 and 6. Uh, no, excuse me. Yes, yeah, 7 and 6. I'm on 6. 7 and 6. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy power. Holy meaning separate. All right, we not shouldn't be out here, uh, you know, doing nothing, even being involved with these heathens, even though they're killing our people. All right, but who who should who should we be calling on first? Who should we be calling on to help us, to guide us? All right, let me grab this real quick. I think it's um, let me go back to that scripture, Proverbs four. Um, I think it's three. Let me see. Yes, yeah, so like it's three. It says, trust in the Lord with all thy heart. We're supposed to trust in the heavenly father with all our heart. And lean not on thine own understanding. And the understanding, the major, majority of you Israelites' understanding is to get justice, uh, 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 equality, and all that stuff. That's not that's not leaning on the Lord. All right, the Lord, I got some other scripture I'm about to read again. The Lord made us separate from these heathens. All right, we're supposed to trust in him. We're supposed to, how about Shimei is supposed to be our help. All right, if our, if our, if uh, 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 Jake gets killed in the street like George Floyd got killed, you Israelites should have turned to the east and praised the Heavenly Father. Call on the name. Pray to the Heavenly Father to deliver you uh, uh, from these devils, from the from the grips of these devils. All right, let me go back to this scripture. This is Deuteronomy 7 and 6. For thou, for thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy power. The Lord hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all above all people that are upon the face of the earth. We're, we're supposed to be a special people to the Heavenly Father, but we're not acting like it above all these heathens, all right? And these heathens are looking at us like, like, like we ain't shit right now, looking at us with disdain, all right? Let me grab this. Speaking of heathens, this is the book of Lamentations, chapter 2, and um, I'm going to start at verse 15. All that pass by clap their hands at thee. They hiss and wag their head at the daughter of Jerusalem. They, hey, that's, they just look at us and they shake their head. They say, damn, look at these niggas. Look at these spicks. All right? Look at these niggas, man. They Look how, look how they're acting. They're tearing down their own communities. They, they, they're running around like some wild animals. All right? And a lot of these Edomites, they just wanted to shoot you, Jakes. And, and, and these other nations, they, they, wouldn't, they wouldn't shed a damn tear. All right, but these are the same people that you want um, that you want uh, justice from. You want equality from. They're the same Edomites that's making the damn laws. All right, saying, "Is this the city? Is this the city that men call the perfection of beauty, the joy of the whole earth? Are these are these the Israelites? Are these niggas that's out here looting and acting a damn fool? That's what, that's what these heathens are saying. They're looking at us and they're shaking our heads. The heathens are looking at Israelites." The, they're, they're, they're supposed to be below us. They are below us. And not right now, because we're not in our right state, okay? Because we fell away from the Heavenly Father, all right? But they're looking down on us like we the heathens, like we are acting like heathens, okay? All thy enemies have opened their mouth against thee. They hiss and gnash their teeth. They say, we have swallowed her up. Certainly, this is the day that we look for. We have found it. We have seen it. All these heathens started with Esau, Edom. Number one, all right, or always against us, has never been for us, all right? That's what you Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans got to get through your damn head. They'll never be for us. Only ones that are going to be for, only ones that's going to be for us is Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, all right? That's going to help us. That's going to uh, uh, recompense uh, to those that, that trouble us. Let me grab that real quick, all right? This you know, because you niggas want you want justice for George Floyd. You want justice and equality, and you're not getting treated right, and all of this. Man, stop asking the devil for anything. This is Second Thessalonians, um, uh, one and six. Seeing it is a righteous thing with the Most High to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you. It's a righteous thing for the Heavenly Father to recompense those Edomite cops that trouble you. But He ain't gonna do it because you're not calling on Him. You're, you're depending on me. You're putting your trust in man. You're putting your trust in the damn devil. You're putting your trust in these uh, uh your government, your, your your president. 
All right, you're waiting for them to, uh, uh, their, their, their wicked ju judicial system. That's what the Esau's waiting on. Excuse me, that's what you Jakes are waiting on. It's like you, the slip of the tongue. Let me grab this real quick. Um, this is the book of Ezekiel. Five and starting at verse 14. Moreover, moreover, I will make thee waste and a reproach among the nations that are around about thee in the sight of all that pass by. And I'm gonna get this word reproach because this is how the nations look at us. It is H2781 Sherpa Sharpa. Sh 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 Reproach, scorn. You look up this word, reproach. Look it up. Address someone in such a way to express disapproval or disappointment. They look at us with uh, 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 disapproval. All right. And this word, scorn. This is what this is another uh, synonym for um, reproach. The feeling or belief that someone or something is worthless or despicable. Contempt. That's how these nations look at us. Like we're worthless. Like we're despicable. All right, like, like, like we're, 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 we're less than nothing, basically. Uh, it says, moreover, I will make thee a waste and reproach among the nations that are around about thee in the sight of all them that pass by. So it shall be a reproach and a taunt and an, in, an instruction and an astonishment unto the nations that are around about thee when I shall execute judgments in thee in anger and fury and, and in furious rebukes I, the Lord, have spoken it. All right. The Most High is doing this to us. All right. Letting these nations rule over us, uh, uh, making us look like a damn uh, uh, of idiots, uh, 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 wild animals in front of these nations. All right. Because what do we do? We fell away from the Heavenly Father. All right. Uh, let me grab this in Baruch. Um, actually. Yeah, I'll get this. I'll get this one. Uh, this is Baruch chapter four and six. Ye were sold to the nations, not for your destruction, because ye moved the most high to wrath. Ye were delivered unto your enemies. You moved the most high to wrath because our people sacrificed the idols. All right. Uh, uh, um, uh, um, they trust in oppression. All right. They, they, um, they, uh, uh, they, they, ha they, they, um, they practice idolatry. All right. Our people are in all kind of wickedness. That's why the Most High, that's why we were sold to the nations. That's why the Most High came down on us with great wrath. All right, for you provoked him that made you by sacrificing unto devils and not unto the Most High. Ye have forgotten the everlasting power that brought you up, and yea, you, you have grieved Jerusalem that nursed you. All right, so, you know, the Most High, you know, uh, uh, delivered us uh, uh, um, from Egypt. But we've, hey, Jacob fell, fell so far away, we forgot about all of that. We forgot, our, we've lost our heritage. All right, that was part of the curses that the Most High put on us. All right, for when let me see, yeah, yeah, yeah that's the point. That's the point I wanted to get. Oh, let me grab this. Um, lucky, I'm trying to find something. Um, this is the book of Isaiah. Actually, thirty. 30 and I'm um, sorry, at nine. This is rebellious people, lying children, children that will not hear the law of the Lord. And that's what separates us from these other nations. We have the laws. The laws is what separated us from these heathen nations. We, but we, were, we, we rebelled against those laws. All right. Our people follow their own vain imaginations. They want to do what they want to do and not what the Heavenly Father wants us to do. All right. The Heavenly Father wants us in these times before the before the kingdom comes to follow the law, statutes, and commandments to the best of our ability. Yes, we can't keep all the laws 100%, all right? But we can keep the ones that we can keep. We can follow, we can keep the Sabbaths, all right? It, to, a, to a degree, if you have to work on the Sabbath, you have to work, all right? We can stop eating swine, stop um, uh, uh, coveting our neighbor's goods, coveting our neighbor's wives, all right? Our, our women can stop uh, uh, being being, whore, being uh, uh, whores out there, all right? Stop having, sleeping with multiple men, okay? Uh, it's a lot of it's a lot in the law that we can't do all right but our people they want to do what the hell they want they want to trust in trust in oppression trust in the devil trust in this wicked system okay oh actually let me i'm gonna jump i'm gonna go back to this scripture i want to get this because this is what made us separate this is how this is 
um, the, the the nations look on a look up post the, our nations look upon us. It once did as a great people because we had the laws. Now they look at us and now they look down on us like we ain't shit. All right, this is the book of Deuteronomy chapter um, four, and I'll, st I'll start at five. Behold, I have taught you statutes and judgments, even as the Lord my even as the Lord my power commanded me that ye should do them in the land whither ye go to possess it. Therefore, keep therefore and do them, for this is your wisdom and your understanding in the sight of the nations. All right, our people don't got wisdom right now. Our, our, our um, what is the scripture? Um, let me grab it down. Salakia. I'll read that again. Um, keep therefore, so like, what was that? Oh yeah, keep therefore and do them, for this is the wisdom and understanding in the sight of the nations, which shall hear all these statutes and say, surely this is a great nation. This surely this great nation is wise and an understanding people. All right, that's what separated us from these other nations: the 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 the, um, the knowledge and wisdom of the of the of the law. The knowledge and wisdom of Yahweh by Shimei was shy. Okay, it's, let me see. Uh, yeah, because the heavenly Father severed us from these nations. Let me get this real quick. Leviticus twenty six. No Salakia. It's Leviticus twenty. I'm Salakia. I'm all over the place, but you know I just want to hit these scriptures. Leviticus twenty twenty and twenty six. And ye shall be unto me a holy people, just like in Deuteronomy uh, seven and six. All right, meaning separate. For I, the Lord, am holy, and I have severed you from other people that ye should be mine. All right, the Lord severed us from these other people, from these other nations. All right, and what separates us is the law. We have the law. We have the first covenant. All right, and in the second covenant, when that comes, okay, we're going to uh, have the have those laws, statutes, and commandments in our inward parts. So we'll never go off. Like I said, you will never see Israel fall again. You'll never see our people in this in this in this low state right now. All right. It says um, back to Deuteronomy four and seven. For what nation is there so great who have the most high so nigh unto them as the as the Lord, our power is in all things that we call upon him for. All right. The, the, the nation said, what nation is this so great that the most high is so near to them, that the most high is dealing with them. All right. It don't look like the most high is dealing with us now. He's dealing with his prophets and those that believe, but he's not dealing with the two thirds. That's why. The, everything has a reason. The two thirds, they have a purpose. All right. And, you know, I'm going to get that. Let me get this. Um, Zechariah 13 and um, verse 8. And it shall come to pass that in the land, saith the Lord, two parts therein shall be cut off and die. But the third shall be shall, shall be left therein. And I will bring the third part through the fire, and I will refine them as gold is refined, and I will try them as gold is tried. They shall call on my name, and I will hear them. I I will say, it is my people, and they shall say, the Lord is my power. That's talking about the elect. The elect is the only one that's going to hear the, 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 the uh, prophets, okay? But the two-thirds out there acting the damn fool, they're not going to hear the prophets. They're not going to get it right till they get in the kingdom. They have to go through death by pain. That's that two. That's the two thirds right there that have to die and be cut off. Okay, they have to come back in the kingdom through the loins of the elect. All right. Um, I got a few more scriptures and I'm gonna close out. Um. Oh, Salaki, I was. Um, let me go back to this scripture. In Isaiah, I wasn't finished reading it. Isaiah 30, I believe. About Jake trusting in oppression. Isaiah 30. And um, I started at 9 again. This is rebellious people, lying children, children that will not hear the law of the Lord, which say to the seers, see not, and to the prophets, prophesy not unto us right things, speak unto us smooth things, prophesy deceit. That's what a lot of these people out here protest and they want to hear. They don't want to hear from the prophets to tell them that, this devil hates you and they don't they're not going to give you rights. <laughs> they're not going to uh, um, adhere to your demands. All right. They're going to just, you know, hope that they could, you know, uh, sweep this shit under the rug or um, or, or uh, 
bring in these uh, bring in these martial law troops and uh, declare martial law so they could begin their new world order. All right. They don't want to hear that. They want to hear that everything's going to be all right. And, you know, we're going to uh, stop police brutality. We're going to investigate the police and, you know, the economy and everything's going to be back like it was. That's what these that's what these wicked ass Israelites want to hear. They want to hear smooth things. What Esau has been giving them, you know, ever since the devil was in power. All right. It says, get you out of the way. Turn aside out of the path. Cause the Holy One of Israel to cease, be cease from before us. Herefore, thus saith the Holy One of Israel, because ye despise this word and trust in oppression and perverseness and stay therein. Therefore, this iniquity shall be to you as a breach ready to fall, swelling out of the high wall, whose breaking cometh suddenly at an instant. And that, and that, and that uh, breach ready to fall on you is Esau coming down with great wrath. All right, because you trust in oppression. All right, you don't trust in the, in the Heavenly Father. All right. You don't trust in your how about You don't trust uh, that he will uh, uh, redeem us. and He will deliver us from our enemies. All right. You trust in the damn devil. You trust in this wicked system. All right. Um, yeah, let me just go to this. Uh, but this is this is when we're going to be perfect in the kingdom. All right. This is talking about the law, statutes, and commandments written in our inward parts. All right. This is Hebrews eight, um, eight, and going to start at mm, seven. For if that first covenant had been faultless, then should no place have been sought for the second. For finding fault with him, he said, "Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, will I will, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah." That's talking about the northern and the southern kingdom. Not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the days when I took them by the hand and led them out of the land of Egypt, because they continued not in my covenant, and I regarded them not, saith the Lord. For this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days, saith the Lord. I will put my laws in their minds and write them in their hearts, and I will be unto them a power, and they shall be unto me a people. OK, so we're never going to go off. You'll never see Israel like this again, because in the kingdom of heaven, we're going to have those laws, statutes, commandments in our inward parts. All right. All right. We're going to be in rulership. So we won't have to loot. We won't have to ask for justice. We won't have to uh, 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 riot and, 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 and cry and, and beg Esau to you know stop killing us. Stop killing our black men. All right. Or, or, or whatever they Jake say out there. OK. We won't, we won't have to do that because we're never we're never going to go off as a nation. We're going to be perfect. All right. One last scripture I want to grab is Ezekiel. Uh, the 36th chapter. It was the 24th verse. I will take you from among the heathen and gather you out of all countries and I will bring you into your own land. All right. This is talking about the king. This is talking about Yahweh Shai coming back and delivering the elect from all the scattered the elect that scattered amongst all the heathens. Then I will sprinkle clean water upon you and ye shall be clean from all your filthiness and from all your idols will I cleanse you. All right. This is, hey, this is talking about the nation of Israel being cleansed. All right. The, the heavenly father forgiving us for our sins. All right. And, and, and putting those laws in our inward parts. A new heart also will I give you. This talking about the law. A new spirit with with will I put within you, and I will take away the stony heart out of your flesh, and I will give you a a heart. Excuse me, and I will give you a heart of flesh. All right, the stony heart is the uh, the, the, the 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 commandments, but it's going to be in us now. All right, it's going to we won't we won't have a. Uh, we we'll have our, um, the 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 uh, the law, statutes, and commandments are going to be in our inward part. So, we'll, like I said, we'll never go off. You'll never see us fall as a nation. You'll never see us uh, 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 bugged out. All right. You'll never see us beg Esau or anybody for anything. All right. So, um, you know, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying to the elect. And I like to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Yahweh Kakwadash. Double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And peace and salutation to the hopeful elect. Shalom.